Here are 10 things you never want to do when dining. Hello, my name is Dana Jean Antonelli. I'm a certified etiquette consultant. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so honored that you are here. In this channel, I talk about manners, modern etiquette, self-development, and anything else that can help you become the best version of yourself. If you've been here before, I'm very happy to welcome you back. So for today's video, we are discussing 10 dining etiquette mistakes that you never want to make. So, Let's get to it. Number one, chewing with your mouth open. I mean, it's really gross, right? When you're talking and you're you're chewing something, it just looks like laundry, just going around and around. No one wants to see chewed up food. Number two, using the wrong utensils. Now, with your utensils, you definitely want to work from the outside in. Now, you want to think too that forks and knives are always going to be paired up together. So typically, forks are on the left, knives are on the right, and anything else that doesn't have a pair, so for instance, a soup spoon and an oyster fork will go on the right with the knives. Now, in that case, you're always going to start with what every utensil is on the farthest right, which oftentimes would be your oyster fork, and then your soup spoon, and then you'll start with your salad forks, and then your entree forks and knives. Number three, reaching across the table. I see this time and time again. Families and friends, you know, it's easier because you're more comfortable with them, but you know, I want you to definitely be more mindful and aware of that. So if there's something, you know, you can't really reach within, you know, like this distance, just ask for whoever is closest to it to just pass it to you and always remember you want to pass to the right. Number four, starting to eat before everyone is served. Now this is very rude and disrespectful especially if there's one person who is waiting for their food. Um, I understand that you're hungry and you just want to eat but do wait until that person's food arrives or if they tell you and everyone else around you to begin then you may do so. Otherwise, I would wait. It just shows that you are very respectful towards that person. Number five, cell phone use. So with this, I always say, put your phone away, right? You're there to socialize and enjoy a nice dinner or lunch with a friend, a colleague. But I will say if it is a business meal and it's been determined that it's a business meal and you let the person know that you are expecting a call, then it's okay to have your phone out, but definitely face it down and let the person know around exactly what time you are expecting a call. For my husband and I, we have a three-year-old. You know, we let our friends know that we may or may not expect a call from my mom or my dad who usually would watch our son. So, you know, it's more of an in case of an emergency, especially if you have kids. Number six, elbows on the table. So elbows, I would always just say off the table. The reasoning behind it is that if your elbows are on the table, it can come off as aggressive. And also it just promotes bad posture, like look, I have my elbows on right now. I'm just leaning on the table and you want to just keep your elbows off. Keep your back nice and straight when you are sitting. I will say there are certain cultures that are okay with elbows on. Like for instance, in France, especially back in the day, women were encouraged to have their elbows on the table to show off their ring on their ring finger to show that they are married. Some countries do accept it when there's no food on the table. Number seven, slurping or gulping when you are drinking or you're eating soup. It's just not very 
elegant. Every time I hear someone slurp or gulp their soup, you know what I think of? I just think of the beast in Beauty and the Beast when <laughs> they were dining together for the first time as like, you know, a date in the castle. I don't know why, but that's just the first thing that comes to my mind. Just be mindful of that. Number eight, not using your napkin properly. So actually the first thing you want to do when you are seated at the table is to place your napkin on your lap. This will signal the server that you are ready to be served water or drinks. And also with napkins, you don't want to wipe, you know, aggressively if you have something on your face. You just want to do a quick dab, put it back on your lap. And then another thing too with napkin etiquette is if you need to use the restroom or you want to excuse yourself for some fresh air or take that emergency phone call, place your napkin on your chair. Again, this will let your server know that you will be returning. And once you are done with your meal or your dinner, you can place it on the left side of your plate. Number nine, talking with your mouth full. Just take smaller bites when you're eating, keep it closed, and then carry on with your conversation. And number 10, pushing away your plate when you are done. Now, there's absolutely no need for that. Just if you want to signal to your waiter that you are through with your dinner, you can just put your utensils in a diagonal 10 to 4 position, and they will certainly know that you are done with your meal. And there you have it. 10 common dining etiquette mistakes that I see people make time and time again. I hope you found this video helpful and now you know not to make these mistakes when you are out dining. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. I do hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I'll see you on my next video. Thank you so much for watching.